Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky here and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can create a camera icon in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by going over to our rectangle tool and we're just going to left click anywhere on the artboard and just draw a four sided shape. Now let's get rid of our fill and then we'll swap this round. So we've just got left, we've got a black solid fill now with no stroke. Now we're going to go up to Effect at the top, down to Stylize, select Round Corners, tick Preview, and just adjust this as you like, just to round off those corners. Alternatively, if you're using a CC version of Illustrator, you can select these little circles just inside of the edge anchor points and just drag those in to achieve the same effect. Something like that. Then for the top of the camera, we're just going to select the rectangle tool again and just draw a slightly smaller four-sided shape and just round off those corners ever so slightly, not too much. Now what we're going to do is just select these top two anchor points with our direct selection tool, that's this one up here. And then once we've selected the top two anchor points, we're going to select the scale tool and we're just going to simply left click and drag that towards the center. Now what we want to do is we want to centralize these two different objects together. So if I select both of them, we can then go up to the top here and you should see horizontal align center. If I click that, you'll see they snap into place. And then just selecting this top part, we can hold shift to drag that straight down. Now if we left click and hold on the rectangle tool, we can select our ellipse tool and just left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create a perfect circle. Now this is going to be our camera lens. And we can now drag this into the middle. And we're just going to set the fill color to white. If you want to just check that these are all still centrally aligned, you can just select them all again and go up to the top and click that horizontal align center button again. And it really helps if you've got your smart guides here turned on as well. Just because when you're moving different elements around, you see the pink lines, they just help you line things up and snap them all together. And I'm just going to select this top part and I'm just going to widen the width here. So if I select this right point and drag, you'll see it pulls out from the right side only. However, if I hold down the Alt key, you'll see that it comes out from the left and the right side equally. So I'm just going to make that a little bit wider and maybe just shuffle that down a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is just select the ellipse tool and just draw another circle over here. This is going to be on one of the camera lights on the front. And then what we're going to do now is select the lens, that's this big circle in the middle, go to edit, select copy, and then select paste in place. And holding left click on this top right anchor point, and also holding alt and shift, we're just going to drag that out and then swap the fill and the stroke. And then I'm just going to go over to my stroke palette on the right and just increase the weight. Then I'm going to bring that back down just a tiny bit. Maybe just move this smaller circle just out just a little bit and you can adjust yours until you're happy with it. So once you're happy with everything, the next step is to select all of the black elements together. Go up to object, expand if you need to. So that's expanding any rounded corners or effects that you've got on so it's a finalized shape. And with both black parts selected, we can just go up to the Pathfinder palette and select Unite. That's the top left one. And it will merge those together into one shape. Now we need to do the same for the white elements. So if we select our stroke, which is this circle here, the ring around the edge, and we'll just go to Object, Expand, and select OK. I'll just go into preview mode so you can see what happened there. So at the moment it's a stroke. So it's a stroke with a weight applied to it. 
when we went to object and expand, it then lost its stroke and it became a solid fill. So we can no longer easily edit the width of this outline. It's now a finalized shape, just like the white circle here and the white circle here. So we can select all of these, unite these in the Pathfinder palette, and then go to Object, Compound, Path, and Make. Just so when we're working with these different white circles and shapes in a moment, it's all treated as one path. So now we've got the black all together and we've got the white all together. So the last step is just select both of these two elements and go over here. In fact, what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm just going to add a background color so you can really see the full effect of what I'm about to do. So let's just lay a color behind here. So at the moment, this is how our icon looks. This is black and this is white. Now we don't want this to be white, we want this to be transparent. We want to knock this out of the black. So if we were using this as an icon and we were designing an app or something, for example, we wouldn't necessarily want these parts to appear white. We would want them to be see-through. So let's select both of these elements again. Go over to the Pathfinder palette and we're going to select this second one in from the top. So that's minus front. And when I click this, you'll see that it now becomes transparent. So if I change the color, it's no longer white. Whatever goes behind this will be that color. And if I go into preview mode, that's Command Y on the Mac or Control Y on the PC, you'll see all the lines that make up the shape. And all these different shapes that we started with have now been merged together to form the final shape. And there we go. We've drawn a camera icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like if you enjoyed this video. Take care, and I'll see you next time.